Time now for the morning rush. UNM and NMSU men's basketball teams will not be facing off anymore in a rivalry game this season. Well, the schools came to that final decision together. Officials say that there have been problems at Lobo Aggie games long before this weekend's shooting on campus. The decision to cancel the nearly sold out game entirely is going to cost them about half a million dollars. Meanwhile, campus safety remains a top concern this morning. That comes after the shooting is leading many to question what UNM is doing to ensure a secure environment. State law and university policy prohibit guns on campus. Now, UNM says in recent years they have expanded the service that escorts students around campus if they don't feel safe. Erica. And here's a look at our school day forecast. 25 this morning. Wear those warm winter layers. It is going to be a gorgeous afternoon, though. Seasonal high temperatures in the mid 50s with mostly sunny skies. APD is hoping that some new evidence will generate leads in a more than 25 year old investigation. Back in 1996, police found the remains of a young woman near 98th and Tower. The National Center for Missing and Exploited Children helped create a facial reconstruction. She is believed to have been between 15 and 19 years old and between 5 foot 2 and 5 foot 4. The teen who admitted to driving recklessly causing the death of an Albuquerque man is beginning, his, uh, beginning her three year sentence rather this morning. Neali Martinez was racing down Central back in February of 2020. It's when she crashed into 64 year old Thomas Kelpuri. Now the judge sentenced Martinez to three years behind bars. Erica. And here's a look at our threat index for today. It is going to be moderate. We're seeing some heavy fog in southeast New Mexico, so use caution and some frigid temperatures up north. Breaking overnight, a mass shooting at a Walmart in Chesapeake, Virginia, is claiming the lives of seven people, according to police, including the alleged shooter. This is while several others were wounded. Now, the shooting started at around 10 o'clock last night, and first responders arrived quickly on the scene. This morning, we are hearing new details about the man being hailed as a hero for his actions inside of the gay club in Colorado Springs. It's where a gunman opened fire, killing five and injuring 18 others. Well, Richard Fierro was there at Club Q with his wife and daughter and her boyfriend when the gunman started firing. Fierro grabbed the shooter by his body armor and then threw him to the ground. Erica. All right, let's get a check on traffic. Roads are looking clear right now. No accidents or slowdowns and trackers going south on I-25 near lead and coal. Everything is moving at speed here. A TSA agent found a cat inside of a traveler's suitcase. This is as it went through the next ray machine at New York's John F. Kennedy International Airport. A TSA spokesperson says the discovery left the agent a little stunned and adds that the traveler said the cat belonged to someone else inside his home. Well, the good news here is that the cat's now out of the bag and back home safe. Time for the five facts. At number five, as we get into the shortest days of the year, Old Town is once again lighting up the night with the annual tree lighting ceremony. The 30-foot sequoia is going to be in the Don Luis Plaza. The lighting will happen at the Old Town Holiday Shop and Stroll on December 2nd at 6 p.m. At number four, APD is hoping new evidence will generate leads in a more than 25-year-old investigation. This is for remains that were found of a young woman near 98th and Tower. And at number three, it's going to be a milder day. High temperatures will be back into the 50s and 60s for most of the state. At number two, there's breaking overnight news. APD officers are investigating a homicide that took place in northeast Albuquerque. Police say that they responded to the 4,000 block of Commerce Drive near Montano and I-25 about a man who died from his shooting injuries. And at number one, UNM and NMSU men's basketball teams, they will not be facing off anymore in a rivalry game this season. And again, the schools came to that final decision together. They say that will cost the universities about $500,000.